Okay, I think I've had about two and a half hours of sleep. It's 7.30. I'll get my time back at, I think, 11.45. So, I was kind of in a, uh, in a, not really a bind, but you kind of get yourself in a situation. Now, if I would have stopped, I would have had to take a 10-hour break. Or uh, do a, a split. That would just put me back at right where I'm at now. Getting my time back late. Well, no, because, well, yeah, no. Anyway, I just went and drove all the way up here. And there was some people working. <laughs> but they wasn't unloading. It was about quarter to two. Them jokers, weren't, they were working, but they weren't unloading no truck. So just went and got up this morning. They uh, started at seven. So another truck pulled in before me. He was ready to go. Took off his straps, and I was finishing up my tarps. And I unload you fairly quick. Um, I want to take a nap though. So in theory, I'm gonna have a full clock, and I should hopefully get something better today, because it's that's a heck of a grind, man. To get dispatched at lunchtime, drive three hours, take another three hours to get loaded, and then of course, you know, finish up, you know, to drive up here to the to the customer. But those are the choices that we make. You know, hopefully me driving through the night sets me up for the day. Like I said, I'm, I'm tired as hell, but I can use this time to go to sleep and of course nobody's in the office yet anyway. I still have about another hour to somebody's in the in the uh office. Like I said, I don't get my time back till of course almost lunchtime. So we'll see where we head next. Uh my other truck buddy that we you know we drove up here together, not up here, but up to uh North Carolina together. Not North Carolina, Georgia together. Uh he didn't have enough time to make it. Uh he stayed in Gainesville. So he started his day yesterday at six, went to Palaka, got there about eight. Then um, he said it was two trucks ahead of him. He said he finally got empty at 10, left at 10 and got dispatched. Of course, about 11.30, about the same time I got dispatched. So he'll be up here eventually. I already know he's going to honk his horn because uh, I'm all here on the main road. There's plenty of parking. It's actually parking inside inside their gate uh, right here behind me. I'm parked off here off to the side. And this is what I was hoping for. Hoping and praying, like man, hopefully get up here. They said they got parking and they got somewhere where I can get out the way and be out the way for you know four or five hours until I get my time back. But Casey's gonna pull in here. He's like, hey man, where do I go? Where do I go? He's gonna honk his horn. I'm pretty sure. So hey man, go up, go up through the gate, park off to the right, put your tarps off. I'll you know give him a hand. You know, do that. You park right there in the middle. And they unload you. I thought I would have to drive up the, the dock. And of course, you know, I'm half asleep, half tired. So I'm, I wasn't really sure till the other guy came in this morning. So now we wait. Nap time. All right. This is the bad thing about needing directional freight. So, of course, I was unloaded first thing this morning. So my pickup is 35 miles away. And, uh, Moncure, North Carolina. Another grind. Okay, so I just got off a load that was damn near five hundred dollars for eight hundred dollars. Same thing, but it's nine hundred dollars, and I got a tarp it. That is the only bad thing about needing directional freight. But at the same time, who's to say I wasn't going to get the same load regardless? So those are things you got to think about. So the only thing that me parking up this morning or parked all the way here, the only thing 
allow me to do is make it uh to my next my next delivery in theory basically that's all that's all it did so i'm in front of my clock being in front of my clock i kind of wish i'd have been rewarded a little bit better but yeah whatever my appointment's for 12 o'clock and i just sent my fleet manager a message i told him i'm like look i don't get my time back till quarter to 12 is this place strict on appointments so he's going to respond back or he won't. If he doesn't respond back, I'm going to assume that they're not strict on appointments. So I guess we'll find out in about an hour when I head up that way. Luckily, I'm close. But America's Georgia is um is like west of Cordell, Georgia, right off of 75. But so yeah, I'm just this won't be bad if I would have if I would have been able to deliver Monday. If I could have delivered. You know, another nine hundred dollar load, something to that effect. Had an eight hundred dollar load, so that's seventeen. Got another nine hundred dollar load. That's let's see, seventeen and nine. That's twenty six, twenty seven hundred till Wednesday. So that's almost a thousand dollars a day, almost. But I'm short a load because I didn't pick up and deliver Monday. Remember, you always want to try to pick up and deliver something decent on Monday because it's such your week up uh, to have more revenue. So I'm a, I'm a low short and a day behind. But whatever. I know it might be some other drivers doing worse. So it is what it is. Another late night, so if I'm lucky, I'll be done by midnight. Just heading down to Georgia, America's Georgia. Fairly simple. Do it right the first time. Looks good. It's probably one of my better tarp jobs. You gotta wear a harness here, so that takes time. All right. Here we go. Well, another late night, and it is raining. Of course, can't see nothing, so I have no idea where I'm supposed to park at, so I guess I'm going to stay on the street. It's crazy. Hopefully it ain't raining in the morning. I'll get my time back till 10 o'clock again. Just see you in the morning. <laughs> 